Who is recording? <laughs> you're like me, yeah, you're too tired to speak anymore because you've spoken all day. So that's why. Dr. Lamb, they're ready for you. I beat them in shape for you. Good. <laughs> Knock all the rough edges so it'll be easy tonight. No, that's good. That's good. That's good. Uh, Jackie, can you stay on with me after we get done for just a minute? I want to talk to you about the fellow that y'all recommended to me. I'm going to talk about him for a minute. Um, I got his uh, resume today. And Steve, you're going to follow up with Scott Wainwright. Excellent. Yeah, I've left a message at work and on his cell phone. Okay. I just wonder what's going on there. I'm following up with, um, we're working on recruitment right now and I'm just following up. I'm sending emails. And I hate, we have one and lost him. So we need to figure out why we lost him. Of course, he might have got a better offer, cheaper offer. I don't know. We'll see what it was. Uh, what time is this? Is it about time to start? One minute. One minute. Uh, we'll go ahead and start anyway. You're still working on the Jasmine situation for me, right? What was I supposed to do for her? Remember, she was with Anita. She's the one that was in 602 and could not, had to drop out because of, uh, she ended up in the, um, I sent you that email when we talked the other day. Yeah. She's, you said you were going to check on some things for me. Well, I checked, but I, uh, there's nothing. Lu yeah, you were going to talk to Luann first, you said. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, we got time, plenty of time. I just, I didn't want to say anything else to her until I, you and I had. All time. right. We'll, we'll need to talk yeah. further. I've had a discussion with Luann. Okay. We'll have to talk okay. Further. Okay. I'll call you probably tomorrow when I get on campus. Okay, that's good. If I don't, call me. I'll be I'll be on campus in the afternoon. Okay. Um, we're going to have to work something out specifically. Yeah, I, yeah that, that one's going to be a little iffy. So, yeah, follow up with me on that one tomorrow. Okay. I'll be, I'll be there after one. I've got a meeting in the morning and I'll be on campus. Um, textbooks, I don't know. That's kind of gone haywire. Um, that deal about selecting textbooks for your internship sections. There are no textbooks. We had that problem whipped, but during the transition to Barnes and Noble from Gardner Webb's people, um, they didn't understand that. And so she went in. So if you get something about textbooks uh, for internship sections, Go in and look, follow the link, but I, they've already, that's been closed out again because there are no textbooks. Dale, yeah, well, I went in and looked because I got it and it, it wouldn't allow, it, I, there was nothing I could do. Well, that's what I mean. I think they went in and turned it back off after I reminded them that about four or five years ago that we had stopped selecting textbooks for internships <clears throat> because there are none, they're not classes. And but for some reason, when the business office, I guess, is taken over in the interim between Gardner Webb and Barnes and Noble, they didn't understand that. And so hopefully we've got that squared away. Um, that the reason why you don't select textbooks is it's not a class. Um, I know that's that that's higher order thinking skills, but surely we can understand that piece of it. Um, I have no notion what textbook selection. I had it fixed where I could just go in and other than full-time faculty select them. I don't know if I'll be able to do that in the future. They don't have any advance notice right now. So we'll we'll get aggravated about that for two or three years. It'll take as normal two or three years to get that squared away as everything else does. Contracts, you should have gotten your contracts. Go ahead and docu-sign those. Um, I will send out the stipend report after today's meeting with the video of what I turned in on the first day of classes, which is the latest one. I will do another one 
um, on drop ad day, and that will be the final one, they said. So I'll do another one. Um, I've got on the existing stipend report, and I'll share my screen and you can see what it looks like. What I've got on it is, no, that's the wrong one. So I've got it sorted by CC2, um, and you can see how many CC2s you got, and you can resort it to see about CC1s. Uh, and you can you can resort for evaluation. Um, let's see. The uh, yeah, the ones in green have been added from this semester or whatever color that is, and the ones in yellow have dropped. Uh, as of the first day of classes. If that is incorrect, if they have added them, I know Annie, she's dropped, and Damien, he's dropped, and Tanisha and Lakenya and Whitney and Rachel and Joy. But we've added Jennifer Heatley, um, Catherine Flecknick, but Anna and I have met with those two, so we're aware of that. We're good to go on that. Uh, Mario is back, uh, and Rachel Brown is back. So make sure that your numbers match these, and I'll send that out. As I said, this is the stipend report, um, and it has all everybody's role, all the stipends. It has your ID numbers. It's, in multiple ways in multiple places, but this is the stopping report. So if you see something, let me know on that. Okay, that's that. Contracts, document reports, uh, evaluations. Uh, everybody's got their evaluations back to me, so that's good. I did those. Uh, I put a comment and I cut a student comment out. I appreciate what you do. Um, we had 23. That doesn't count the four full time that worked in the program and the four that didn't work this past year. So that accounts for the 31. So we did have, we did have uh, 31. So we only had 23. So those are done. I thank you for getting those back to me. I've done the end of year report in the new format for Weave. Um, all the numbers look really good uh, on the averages. And I think working really hard with the library, the folks in 601, what they've done with APA 7th has really improved the quality of our evidence work and the scores have gone up accordingly. I'm appreciative of that. Uh, I am going to add for you in, in 601, uh, I am going to add another night or two uh, on the coaching sessions in the fall, we're going to introduce them to Qualtrics to send their surveys with, which will be another uh, another big feather in their cap, especially if they go on to doctoral programs on how to build surveys. And so I'm gonna add that as well. That's in one of our research goals. Um, and then the last thing I have tonight is make sure all of your students do their EBAs. Uh, their uh, enrollment verification form in your courses, check those, uh, and you know how to check those. I'll share my screen again. Go back here. Go to Blackboard, go to your summer classes, grade center, full grade center, and check your EVA. As you can see, all of mine have EVA in that section.
and all of mine have EVA'd in this section. Um, I would recommend uh, I'm still with you. I would recommend um, and I know many of you already do it because I copy your, your discussion boards. I would recommend that in your discussion boards uh, that you have a place for them to enter their personal information, especially in the summertime. It's real important in the summer because most of them, um, when, when they, they're not at school, um, they don't, for whatever reason, they don't tend to check their email. You can't get in touch with them at school. Some of them have different addresses and different contact in the summer. So I would, uh, I would figure out a way to see if I could get as much personal information out of them as possible. Uh, and so what I do is I just create a forum and discussion board and have them drop their, their summer contact information again, which is different than the others. And so you can see, um, uh, you never know when you're going to need to get in touch with one of them in the summertime, but you folks know that you're pretty smart. All right. That's pretty much everything. Summer school seems to be going real well. I met both of my classes last week. Um, it's going to be a very busy summer. I hope that you folks in 605 are finding that we did a pretty decent job in the spring accelerating them into the cap. Uh, I've been seeing a lot of that work. I'm still working with one of mine from the summer. Um, she needs a little more support, so I'm going to keep on working with her for a little while, then I'll turn her, tell her to go back and work with y'all. Um, Cherie Feimster, I'm working with Cherie right now. Uh, and so uh, hopefully we can get, get that one. And I think she's the last one that I'm working with, but I, I hope that in 605, you can see that we've give, given them a pretty good head start on summer. Um, I'm not sure about the group that's in 605 with you, Danny. I don't know how, how far along they are. I'm guessing not. Uh, no. Absolutely. They, they, every one of them had completed the cap except for Rachel Brown. And, and Kathy's working with her personally. Uh, and she's, she's responding to Kathy. So. Well, good. Uh, great job, Nita. Yeah. Thank you. But Rachel had some personal issues. Brother. Yeah. 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 She's, uh, but she's, but, and she's uh, her first assignment that she had to turn in was a good assignment. And she, she turned it in on schedule. So I think Kathy and I've got her on a, on a good plan. I think she's going to be okay. Good. Good. I'm glad that, that that's going well. Uh, I'm glad that they, that I need to accelerated those. It's uh, it was a tough spring getting them moving. Um, but, you know, they responded well. I have no complaints. They every respond. one of them, every one of them ended up with a 4.0. Well, that's great. That. That's great. I always have great coaches. Well, I was going to say, should we shout out the coaches as well? Um, exactly. Right. I was getting ready to say, Lisa and Joey, they do such a great job. Um, they really do. Um, and my Phyllis. Don't, don't Phyllis. I, well, I see Phyllis is there. I was going to mention before. here. I know Phyllis does a great job. Well, we have but what to. what it has done, it has allowed me to 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 stretch out the psyop and to, to spend more quality time with that instead of having to rush it so much. I'm able to break it into to smaller chunks and work with them. And so I think they're going to the quality of work we're going to get is going to be much better with the psyop. Well, that's what I'm hoping. Um, I, I I you know we do the best we can, but. Lord, it's discouraging when I go in and look at one of them and all they've done is just found everything together. Right. It's, 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 just, it's just 160 pages of mess. Yeah, well, Kathy and I already addressed that this past Tuesday night. And, yeah. And, yeah. and we, what we, we're we, going to do too, Nita, is, is also going to allow us to be able to spend some more quality time with their discussion board assignments, whereas before you 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 didn't have enough time to really spend a lot of time with that. Yeah, because yeah, yeah. So this is going to open, we're going to be able to do more discussions and I like yeah. that. 
Yeah, we, we've got to get in the habit of doing a better job in the spring, getting them ready for summer so we can actually have some class and their last evidence will be quality and their last semester is not just fighting fire, trying to get the cap and the side. Right. Um, there's just not enough time for those to be both of them to be quality and to learn anything as well. Um, but you know, we got to keep we got to press on during the summer. Um, we were talking today, Steve Laws and I were talking today. Um, the competition's getting going to get stiffer. Um, you know, High Point's going to be out of business this coming year. They lost their grant, but they'll be back. They'll be back in the fall of 23 and we'll have a target on our back because they'll just try to money whip the problem there. They've already called me, um, their MSA department. Um, they're going to file a new blueprint. And of course, their blueprint was the, the on, that, on that grant was the old go to class for a year and be a full time intern for a year. Well, now that they've lost their grant, obviously they can't do that because you can't pay the people's salary the second year. So what they'll do is they'll end up doing what we're doing. And High Point's got enough money to throw at it that it'll, you know, that it, it, it will hurt us down the road. Um, and Western and Appalachian are going to get back into business in a big way too, looks like. Um, their doctoral programs, they're, they're going back to practitioner based rather than R1. And so they're, you know, the numbers will get smaller, um, but I'll, I'm more concerned about the quality of what we do, but we'll have to keep going in the summers. Uh, that's one of the competitive advantages that we have over some of the other programs is they just do spring and fall. Um, folks trying to get through, we have to push on through the summer. And so, yeah, we got to do that to, to maintain a competitive advantage, but. We also want that work in the summer to be good. Um, I'm guessing Anna, that fellow didn't, he didn't get in touch with me prior to here today. So I'm guessing he's gonna wait till the fall, the one that we were gonna partner with uh, with Catherine if he showed up. And so That works got, for me. Yeah, I, I, I tried my best to talk him out of that. I just didn't think it was a good idea for him to try to jump in 603 in the summer uh, with no previous work. Uh, so. Uh, we, you know, that, that's going to be tough enough with the two that we've got uh, that are doing that. And so, um, so I think everything is good. As I said, I'm going to send out the stipend report. If you spot any obvious area of errors, students that, that aren't on the list that are in your classes, again, I have it sorted by the internship sections right now. And you can, but you can sort it by any way you want to, if you know how to, you know, use the data sort function in, the, in an Excel spreadsheet. I'm sure you all do. Uh, you can sort it any way you want to, uh, to get it to do that. But uh, uh, as I said, that's, I went through every class and every internship section on the first day of classes last Wednesday. So it's the latest that we have. And then I'll do that again uh, this week on drop ad day. I think that's what Wednesday of this week. Uh, so I get to spend another day on Wednesday grinding numbers, but that's okay. Um, that, that's fine. All right, uh, Jackie, if you'll stay on with me, I'll turn my recording off and we'll talk for a minute. Thank you, everybody. I appreciate what you do. Uh, and uh, the uh, the graduate survey, I got a look at that today. That that gone really well. The senior exit went really well. Our net promoter was strong again. Uh, our all of our statisticals are good except for. We missed our 85% retention rate mark, but we came awfully close even during COVID. I think we were right at 84%. So that's pretty good. That's pretty good uh, considering what we went through the last year or so. So uh, no complaints. Everything seems to be going well. I appreciate it. Thank you. All right. Let me turn my Bye. recording off. Good night.